This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Yo, what up, it's Don. Same thing here. Battle of the budgets. Yes. 80 there could, bucks. There could only be one. Yes, 80 bucks. They're both good performers, great performers. So I thought it would be, it would be a good versus video. If you guys want to cop either of these, we'll leave a link in the description box. Um, but let's get started. I mean, this is for you broke boys, right? Yeah, or broke boys are the those building. trying to save money. Or, or those people who are, are financially smart. Oh, yeah, exactly. And like to save, you exactly. know, maybe put that extra money in some stocks. Ooh. Or Bitcoin. Or oh, Bitcoin. Get yes. a rig going. Exactly. Um, but anyways, let's get it started right off with the Tracciones. The Torch Low has herringbone. Tried and true. You know, herringbone is amazing. You know, on a clean cord, it's very, very nice. The grooves are actually kind of close together and it picks up a little bit of dust and it picks it up pretty fast. Uh, just You just do a light wipe though and after you do a light wipe it's good to go but uh, when, once dust is, gets stuck on it you're going to be sliding just a little bit. So if you don't mind wiping then du on dust it's actually pretty good but you're just going to you're just gonna have to wipe a lot. Out there you should be okay. I mean it is, it is soft. It's on the softer side but uh, the grooves are pretty thick so uh, I feel like it should last. Uh, a good amount of time. Not the best choice though. Yeah, the fly traps are pretty dang gnarly. Uh, really pretty much good in any condition. You can use them outdoors, indoors, dust, wet, you cover the, the cord in oil and they'll still bite. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, but... no, I'm joking. Um, but it's a very, very nice traction pattern. Super hard. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know, but I haven't tested these. So yes. which one you'd say is better? So on a clean cord, they're both good. I would say the fly trap has a little bit harder of a bite. Um, dust, fly traps better. Um, it, it still picks up a, a little bit of dust, but it's a lot less frequent of a wipe. I really don't, uh, like, I really didn't find myself wiping all that much. And it's a pretty easy wipe. Yes. Meaning you can get the dust off fairly easy. Yes. Um, and outdoor use, the, the rubber is a lot harder on the fly trap, so fly yeah. trap traction for the wind, but the, tr the torch low is still pretty damn nice. All right, moving on to cushion or lack thereof. Yes. Uh, the fly traps are not phenomenal. Nope. Uh, but the, you know, for Kyrie, they're not bad. They're not as bad as like the threes. Way better than the threes. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, not too bad. But you st you feel super low to the ground. You get a ton of response. So you know. There's a little bit of heel compression, which feels pretty damn nice. Mm -hmm. It's just. Um, when I do like hard impacts, you know, like hard landings, yeah, I start to feel it a little bit, yeah. you know, so I'm just not the best for impact protection. It's it's pretty good though. Yeah. Um, the Torch Low has a micro G, full length micro G midsole, which feels up very, very low to the ground. I would say even lower than the fly trap. Wow. Um, yeah, like they feel, if you guys have ever tried the Harden B2, that's, that's what it feels like. Super low to the ground, very good court feel. Um, there is a little bit of compression in the heel, but uh, I would say it's around the same as the fly trap. Maybe the fly trap, you feel it a little bit more. They're both responsive. Impact protection, I would say the uh, micro G is a little bit better. You know, I, I didn't really find myself like like in pain after playing uh, for a long period of time in these. Um, the forefoot is actually pretty damn low, but um, the heel is really where you need the, the cushion. Um, and I feel like the Micro G does it a little bit better there. So impact protection is a little bit better in the uh, in the Torch Low. So uh, overall, er basically everything feels the same besides that, the impact protection. So I would say I would lean toward the Torch Low for a little bit, by a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Moving on to the materials, the Torch Low has an EM, uh, which feels very, very nice. And also on the lateral sides, the medial and the lateral side, you have kind of like a Anifoam type of material it feels more like a neoprene. It has kind of like a neoprene texture uh, For an $80 shoe, it's a pretty damn nice nice material It does feel like a little like flimsy and a little cheap in hand I would say but it feels soft and great on foot and um, I would say it gets the job done. Yeah, these are all right, you know yeah, I'm just looking at this right now. I mean, I love this shoe, but the medial side look how budget that kind of looks yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, so I don't know. I would lean towards those. No, really. I mean, looks wise, maybe. looks wise, and yeah. in hand feeling. Yeah, I mean no. the flight trip uh, on foot feels 
Uh, I, I like it. Yeah, I, I like it too. You know, but like in hand, I would say the EM feels a little bit better. EM always feels a little bit better than uh, these types of materials, yeah. especially how Nike does it in their budget models. Yeah. Um, and also on the lateral side, they have like this uh, synthetic type of rubber, of rubbery kind of material yeah. for support. Yeah. Um, but I, what would you lean towards? I mean, in hand, it feels a little bit better than the torch, but on foot, performance wise, right. I would say that they're about even. So, um, and then if you trip it on looks wise, I feel like this looks a little more budget. Yeah. Um, except that it has a Nike logo on it, which carries a, a certain, you know, <laughs> certain Nike boy right to here. it, you know? Uh, yeah. So anyways, moving on to the fit. Oh, what did I go on these ones? Yeah, these are long. The uh, fly traps are a little long. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The fly traps are long. So I went down half a size. I also went down half a size in the torch lows. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I feel like I, I companies have just. I feel like that up. too. Like they're just yeah. going up, and like their lasts. Yeah. Are just getting bigger and bigger. Holds, you know. And almost all shoes too. I'm just like almost leaning towards towards nonstop, just getting a fifteen and a half, which kind of sucks. So yeah. I, um, I don't know what I should tell you guys. Maybe I'll, it'll be my my true decide from now on, uh, which is kind of weird. What if you're experiencing the same thing, and I mm -hmm. say true size and I don't know. Um, but that's just what I did because you know every single curry aside from the five, I'm a seven and a half. But then curry five, I'm a seven, and also this I went down. Every single Kyrie, Kyrie one through four, I'm a seven and a half. The Kyrie low runs a little long, and also that fly trap ran long. So very weird. Uh, yeah. It's just I guess with recent shoes. But anyways, uh, what fits better? They both fit great, um, but the torch low widen up a little bit the em i felt it stretched just a little bit not when i'm playing but like overall you know stretched out and um i broke it in and the fit seems a lot wider than it was because it was a little bit tighter of a fit um so if you're a wide footer torso is probably a, a lot better uh, fly traps are a little bit more narrow and uh, my foot is a little bit more narrow so uh, i would have to go with the fly traps um and the torso has a little bit of dead space but nothing horrible, so anyways. Moving on to support and lockdown. Support and lockdown is great in both. Uh, no heel slippage, no lateral containment issues, uh, which is very interesting uh, that $80 shoes are good with this, but then more expensive shoes have problems with this, with nicer material, you know? But anyways, yeah, support and lockdown is great in both. Ankle also, I really didn't have any problems. Yeah. Um, but anyways, moving on to weight. Uh, the fly traps are stupid light. Yeah, but so are these. Really? Let's so see. We Let's shall see. see. So it's 10, ooh. Ooh, 10 point three ounces for uh, for torch. That's got to be lighter, right? Yeah. Oh, yep. Ten point seven two for the fly oh. traps. Just by like, like point three ounces or whatever. Mm -hmm. What feels lighter? Um, they're both super light. Very minimal feeling. The materials are super thin. Uh, very responsive also when while you're playing. I would say. You feel a little bit more on the ankle since it's kind of like a mid. It's more, I don't know, it's like a low mid, I would say. It's a baby mid. Yeah, it's a baby mid, kind of. Uh, the torch low is a true mid, or tr true low, I mean. This is a high low. Yes, it's a high low. This is a true low. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, they, they both feel light on foot, though. We got on the ventilation, they're both good. Durability. Durability. Better outsole durability in this, probably. Yes. Um, but I don't feel like this upper is crazy durable. Same, same with this though. I, don't know, I feel yeah. like it, it might rip after a long, a long time of uh, you know putting stress on the material. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I, I would tie the material up. Yeah. Um, but lean toward the fly trap for the maybe outsole aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, obviously the torch low is better. No, no, no. no. Are you are you serious? You're gonna you're gonna like that shoe better than this triple black. Well, I mean, it's, there's, the problem is it's not all black here, but no, th this is fire. This colorway is fire too. Yeah. I love black and gum. Do you see that red colorway? Yeah. That red colorway is sick. That's a dope. That dude, oh man, are you gonna cop? No. I <laughs> mean, I don't need another flight trap. Yeah. But um, anyways, yeah, I don't know who's gonna say the torch low looks better, but. Not a bad looking shoe it's though. It's not bad though, yeah, it's not bad. It's decent. It's not horribly ugly, but yeah. the flight trap just looks a lot better in my opinion. Yeah. Wrapping things up, 80, both 80 bucks, both good performers. Wow. What do I like to play in the boat the mo better? The fly traps. 
I mean, the traction is better, especially on dust cushion. Uh, the Micro G isn't like that much better. So fly trap, it's, it's not, you know, it's not a deal breaker there. Materials are both good on foot, especially for performance. The fit also is better for my foot. It, it definitely, if you have a wider foot, go with the Torch Lows. But if you have more of a narrower foot like me, or like Donny Boy, go with the fly traps and uh, support and lockdown. They're both good, and it looks better for me for the fly traps. So yeah, get the fly. They yeah, can't be beat uh, for yes, that price. I mean, it's pretty crazy. And they have some crazy sales though. Also, yeah, so and there's some fly. cool, some cool colorways coming out. Yes, yes. Um, Torch lows, still a good performer. Um, the only difference, the only reason why I would say to get this over the fly trap is if you have a light. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I would say flat traps. Uh, but anyways, that's the versus video. Hope you helped you guys out. If you guys want to cop either of these, we'll leave a link below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Peace.